All right, guys, Gary back again, and we're back with another Fred's box. This one arrived today. This is it, or what they call it, issue two, so second box. I really like last month's box, other than the uh, weird-ass Doctor Who thing that kind of fell apart and broke as I was building it, but that's okay. Like I said, I'm not a Doctor Who fan. Um, so yeah, same box design as last month. I don't know if these will change. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. So, same as last month, Deadpool, Bobber, Captain America, Joker, hashtags, signage, hashtags, more signage, nothing on the back. So, yeah, let's, uh, let's have a look on the inside. Okay. First off, the book this month is The Night Manager by... John Le Carre. This... Oh yeah, it was. It was a BBC programme. Well, I don't actually watch TV. I don't own a TV. don't have a TV licence in the UK. Nothing really on TV that interests me nowadays. So this will be interesting. Uh, the Observer called this a marvellously observed, relentless tale. And the synopsis says... At the start of it all, Jonathan Pine is merely the night manager at a luxury hotel. But when a single attempt to pass on information to the British authorities about an international businessman at the hotel, with suspicious dealings, backfires terribly, and people close to Pine begin to die. He commits himself to a battle against, po against powerful forces he cannot begin to imagine. In a chilling tale of corrupt intelligence agencies, billion-dollar price tags, and the truth of the brutal arms trade, John Le Carre creates a claustrophobic world in which no one can be trusted. This was designed by Matthew Burnham. Cover design, blah, blah, blah. Book price was eight ninety nine. Apparently it's a Penguin Modern Classic. Oh, this is part of a set, not to be sold separately. Interesting. So, yeah, the TV show. I remember seeing pictures. You've got Tom Hiddleston, um, Hugh Laurie, and Blonde Ed Bird. Can't remember her name. Don't actually think I know her name. But yeah, Night Manager. Deeper you go, the darker it gets. Pretty nice, I'll add that to the pile. I still haven't got round to reading Ready Player One yet. And... Oh, this, this month is literally the book and the t-shirt that they promised. So, let's have a look. There we go. Fred's issue two, small regular fit, because I'm, I'm not a particularly big guy. And that... Excuse the dust flying about in front of the screen. I'm going to say that's... It's a nice design. I'm just trying to think... Is that James Bond? I think it's James Bond. That looks like the spiral... gun barrel opening. Uh, with a shot through the heart. So perfect. And that's uh, my Ghostbusters hands falling on the floor because I'm a messy person and don't clean up my work areas. But yeah, that's... quite a nice little box this month. And my background's now decided to fall apart, but that's okay, because I've nearly finished. This is probably one of the quickest unboxing videos for a mystery box I've ever done. Uh, so yeah, it was uh, the Fred's Box by Zavi Z-Box. Uh, yeah. Gonna continue with this. I like being able to build up my book collection without having to actually choose a book. I am trying to find uh, more things to put up on the channel. Um, I've started doing my drawing a bit more seriously than I used to, so maybe put some speed drawing stuff up when I can get around to it. But uh, yeah, at the minute money, as always, money is the problem. So. Uh, I'm still here. I'm not as active as I used to be, but hopefully that will start changing soon. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, uh, leave a like, leave a comment, let me know what you think. Would you be interested in getting one of these boxes? If so, I'll leave the link in the description down below. And until the next time, uh, see you later. <laughs>